Good afternoon, everyone. Winter watch out in Hawaii on the Big Island. Sub-freezing temperatures are only at the summits. I didn't know if I believed this news article when I first saw it, so indeed I went to National Weather Service and found them on Twitter with that same advisory. A winter weather warning, but again, it's above 12,000 feet. Volcanic ash plume associated with this. So I dug in a couple articles and I did find ice nucleation after volcanic eruptions on Pinatubo and in Iceland. New 5.4 in Hawaii on the Big Island as well. And the Great Sitkin volcano in Alaska awakens again another steam eruption event. Look at these morning lows below freezing, snow, more snow across Idaho, snow in Montana. And if you can't see the size of the grand solar minimum intensifying, sprouting is the way to go. As long as there's a seed supply, you can sprout those in your home. Add to salad stews, soups, incredibly nutritious. And this video is brought to you by trueleafmarket.com, heirloom and organic seeds for any grow zone on our planet. The Adapt 2030 link is below in the description box as well as all the links to tonight's slides in the video. You might have seen this article starting to make the rounds. Hawaii volcano eruption, mysterious freezing rain. A winter weather advisory issued for the Big Island. Meteorologists say I've never seen this before. Above 12,000 feet, ice on the roadways, dangerous conditions. And this area is 72 miles from Kilauea, below freezing temperatures and freezing fog with rain. I saw this on Cleveland.com, this blog post referencing National Weather Service winter watch over the Big Island. So I indeed went there and yes, it's right there. But when I jumped over onto National Weather Service, there's no active watches and warnings. It must have been just a very short lived event. But they do have an updated satellite view of the ash cloud. And remember, there's a lot of sulfur dioxide clear out in Asia already ahead of this. I did a full video on this about Micronesia and the lost city of Nan Madal with the megalithic structures on the island. National Weather Service Honolulu showing a 5.4 quake, no tsunami threat. Another eruption in Kilauea as well. So after I saw this ice nucleation happening, I went to go double check and see as it happened in other volcanic eruptions. And the answer is absolutely yes. They call it atmospheric ice nuclei or atmospheric ice nucleation. After the large eruption at Mount Pinatubo and also that large eruption off of Iceland that grounded all the air traffic across Europe. So what size is this eruption? That's the question. This also off the same report here in Iceland, you'll notice where the nucleation took place when all the atmosphere was already heavily concentrated with sulfur dioxide and ash. Another report goes further on. This is the Pinatubo eruption showing the concentration of aerosol particles and the formation of the ice. Not a super rare event, but the size of that eruption has to now be in question. So now we're going to run through the National Weather Service because while I was on the site, I just started scrolling down to take a look at what is in their Twitter feed. Incredible images here. These are the kind of sunsets you can start to expect as more ash is in our atmosphere. And off the watchers, elevated activity, great Sitkin volcano in Alaska. Interesting, last eruption, 1974, that was going down into the sunspot minimum on the 11 year cycle. Wide out for you here. They're also talking about steam eruptions as the conduit collapses back in on itself. National Weather Service Caribou, Maine. These are Maine temperatures, Northeast US. Look how cold it was and still is. Low 30s and some below freezing. And now we're getting into the middle of June. A glimpse at Mount Rainier, four inches of new snow. Then after the weather front passed, you can see those mountains in the background there, volcanoes as well. 
but there's still a lot of ice and snow cover on the peaks. Now what you're seeing sticking above the clouds, these are the very same volcanoes that could start erupting, as they seem to show a 300 year pattern as well. Now jumping over to Idaho, June 10th, a good two inches coming down on the ground. Transportation cam, spring snow, well it's more like summer snow now but that's okay. Some of the Whitefish Mountain and also over in Big Sky, Montana. So it shows you it's not just an isolated incident and here we go Crested Butte. How much snow is that to put the fresh cover up there that we can so clearly see against that stark green background? Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. The Grand Solar Minimum is intensifying, and these are just the more signs that are showing. It'd look for snow in July somewhere as well.